Hi guys, today we are going to a friend of mine, Mr. Glenn Buley, and he, some people might have heard of him. He works on Vincent's for a living, but he is nice enough to take a look at my commando engine parts, kind of tell me what I need, and also help me out. So he's also fixed my engine case where the center bit was out of round. And so now it looks, so right here, looks, like new if not better than new thanks to his wizardry he is an incredible person at doing any of this kind of stuff I, I just don't know how he does it he's very talented at what he does and he's very good at what he does and you, i can tell that anything that leaves his shop it's it's going to be right that's why he's the best vincent guy in the world he just did me a favor by helping me out with my commando so thank you to mr glenn buley for that and so here's some shots on it. Didn't record too much there. Didn't want to get in his way. He's a busy guy. He's got a lot going on. He's got a lot of customers that are, you know, much wealthier than myself. I don't own any Vincents. I would like to, but it is what it is. I'm working on a Commando, but there's nothing wrong with a Commando. I like it. I think they're good bikes and we have an acceptable repair on this part of my bottom of my engine case. And so I will show you guys now on what he did. And it's probably going to be a bit crude of a way of explaining what he did. And I'm sorry, I don't really know, can't remember the terms and everything that he told me. I'm not a machinist. I don't have those skills. I'm envious of it, but I can't. All right, guys. So at this point right now, Glenn is using a jig board machine to find the exact center of the hole. It's got some sort of attachment on there. I'm not sure what it's called. He told me, but I'm sorry. I have a horrible memory and don't remember what it was called. And now we're at the point where we're starting to, um, I guess the, I'll say round the hole out, kind of drilling it out a little bit, using a different attachment on his jig board machine. It's kind of taking just a few thousandths of an inch off at a time. It's a very slow process. It's a very precise process though. The jig bore is a lot more precise than using a mill or something like that. So this is done all the way down to the thousandth of an inch. You can see it's just taking a little bit of material off at a time. Just not much, just, just ever so slightly. And just gradually working that hole bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we will or Glenn will make a sleeve and then insert that sleeve in there. And now this is where Glenn is making the sleeve. And you can't hear it because I will get hit really hard on YouTube, but he's really rocking out to the clash right now. I feel like Glenn Buley is really in his element at this point in time. He's just rocking out, having a good time, making some parts, just, just chilling out, enjoying what he does, living life right now. It was really a treat to kind of watch him do this. finished case right there the hole and now we're finishing up the sleeve just a little bit more to go a couple more cuts and you'll see him removing it watch this wait all right watch how slick this is this is a man is a master of his craft right here boom done 
And then now, just gonna do a little bit of welding this in. guys well this is the finished product and I think this is a very acceptable repair here so the sleeve was kind of in here I'm excited about it I couldn't have never done this I don't have the talent or the tools or the knowledge but yeah so shout out to mr. Glenn Bewley thank you for the help here all right thank you guys okay so mr. Bewley went through my a lot of my stuff here and on my cylinder walls they are a bit sloppy so and then the pistons are scored as well the, well the pistons are a bit janky the cylinder walls are a bit scored and there's too much slop so we're going to overboard these cylinders I'm gonna to have to find somebody to do that Lynn doesn't have he doesn't work on Norton's at all he only he works on Vincent's that's it he's not set up to work on any of this stuff he just did me a very solid favor by even looking at this and helping me out as much as he did it took him a long time to do this like it was a lot of work and I'm very thankful for his talents so I just have to get my cylinders overboard now get some new pistons my cylinder head I'm gonna to have to get the valves cut I'm gonna to have to put new valve guides in as well because they're way too sloppy with the new valves I think somebody put the wrong valves in previously a lot wider of a valve and shorter of a valve so all that's going to have to be redone so i'm going to have to find somebody to do all of that work as well so thank you all right guys well that's all i've got for you tonight so thank you for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and we'll hopefully be starting this engine together sometime soon thank you have a good night